Justin Turner making his first career pitching appearance somewhere. Russell Martin smiling. First thing you notice is those shades. When have you ever seen a pitcher rocking shades on the mound? Like, I don't think his future is going to be bright as a pitcher, but just in case he has those really cool sunglasses. But JT's ready to go. A little spit right here. And this won't be easy. You've got the heart of the Rockies lineup, starting with Trevor Story. His first pitch as a big league pitcher, it goes for a strike. Look at that drop right in there nicely. A 72-mile-per-hour, quote-unquote, fastball. And then Story gives him this look like, okay, I guess we're doing this. Gets ready for the next pitch. And then on the 0-1 count, Story rips this fastball into left field for a single. That pitch clocked in at 76 miles per hour. So really bringing the gas on that one. So JT's got to be like, hey, everyone's got to give up a hit at some point. At least his was a single, not a home run or anything like that. And the next hitter is CJ Crone, who on Friday night hit the longest home run at Dodger Stadium since 2015. First pitch strike, top of the zone, 74 miles per hour. All JT does is throw strikes. And here another one fouls this one off to put him in an 0-2 hole. That one clocking in at 75 miles per hour. So JT, look at this mound presence. Look at this poise. He looks unfazed out there. And I think the shades were throwing off the Rockies hitters a little bit, but on the 0-2 Crone bangs a base hit into left field, giving the Rockies runners on first and second, no outs and then Crone's taking off his elbow guard, little fist bump, boom he's got this little sarcastic smile like, oh, position player pitching, that's cute and then JT's like, okay, let's get out of this jam, let's turn two here, and then first pitch to Rio Ruiz, a fastball and Ruiz hits a fly ball to left field, AJ Pollock goes back at the track and he makes the catch in front of the wall on the warning track the runners retreat so the first out recorded as a pitcher for justin turn a fly ball to left field for the first out of the inning and then first pitch to hilliard he hits a ground ball to pool holes at first he feels it flips it to jt he touches the bag for the second out of the inning and look at jt look at the hustle sprinting right over there beats hilliard makes the catch touches the bag teal albert little butt pat Psh. So we got runners on second and third, two outs. First pitch to Nunez is a slider. The off-speed misses top of the zone. So he did miss with the off-speed stuff, 57 miles per hour, which is almost more than double than Brock Holt's 31 mile per hour pitch earlier this year. I'm telling you, JT's happily married, but he does have a slide piece, just needs to throw it for strikes. And then the Dodger pitchers, they're getting a kick out of this. Beeler's like, uh-oh, might have some new Cy Young competition. Kershaw's looking around, watching everything but the game at this point. He fixes his neck right here. The Catman's talking to Kershaw, bouncing the ball. Not sure what Scherzer is saying. Probably don't effing touch me, though. And then on the 1-0 pitch, he throws a strike. Fastball, bottom outside corner. Then on the 1-1, he gets him to fly out to left field. Here's A.J. Pollock. He makes the grab to end the inning. Scherzer's impressed. He's like, nice. I think JT wants the ball here. He's walking off the mound like, hey, man, I could have pitched this whole game. That was easy. Beeler gives him a little fist pump here. Scherzer is smiling. The dugout's loving it, and the fans are loving it, too. Dodger Stadium is on their feet. Mark Pryor's clapping. Kenley's clapping. He's smiling. Doc is clapping. He's probably saying, hey, he looked pretty good out there. Maybe I should have just started him, and then half the internet wouldn't be roasting me right now. And then JT's looking around like, hey, wait, is no one going to check me for sticky stuff? Look, there's enough pine tar on my back to get me suspended for a year. No, but a very impressive MLB pitching debut from Justin Turner ends up going one scoreless inning. Look, go to Google right now and search Justin Turner's ERA triple zeros. A zero ERA, a new Dodgers franchise leader. And if you look at it, he goes one inning, throws 10 pitches, nine first strikes. He had the command on that fastball averaged 74.8 miles per hour on the heater, topping out at 76.9 miles per hour. The spin rate a little low. He averaged 18.24 RPMs on that fastball and 13.91 on the slider. And I'm telling you, this guy can do it all. 21 home runs, a zero ERA. I'm calling him Shohei O'Turner for the rest of the season. And then after the game, his wife, Courtney Turner, she tweeted out, check me for sticky substance. 
hands. And then JT tweeted, just sunglasses and wristbands and some laugh emoji. So a terrible loss for the Dodgers. Make no mistake about it. But we'll never forget the day that Justin Turner pitched for the Dodgers. And I know that Russell Martin is somewhere smiling. But let me know down below in the comments. What do you grade Justin Turner's MLB pitching debut? I want all your takes down below in the comments section. And also, do you think having position players pitch is bad for baseball? I want your takes down below. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. For latest Dodgers merch, head over to GearUp.LA. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.